Hello, this is The Bound Swordsman. Today I'm going to take a break and teach you guys how to install a texture pack, or at least a particular one. This one is called Mixcraft HD. It looks like Minecraft, but it's a mixture of other texture packs, and it looks quite good if you can see it here. This is every block in the game, including every individual growth block and other such things. It looks really good. So, what we're going to do is install it. First, you have to download it. So you click on this link, and then in your bar, in your download bar, Minecraft v23 pack.zip will appear. And when you click on it, it's going to bring you to this. So, close that before it starts. Now, I prefer to make a folder called texture packs and then drop it in there as you can see now how we're gonna start this is you have to first be able to get to your minecraft folder so I have a preset already a shortcut to it what you need to do is open up your start menu and go to my computer or if your my computer is on here that will be easier you go to your C drive, documents and settings, your personal username, application data, minecraft.net, and there you are. It is a hidden folder, so if you're on XP or another um, operating system, XP, you have to go to Tools, Folder Options, View, and select Show Hidden Files and Folders, and then hit Apply or OK and it'll show up now click on this go to HD texture pack Windows if you're using Windows MC patcher and it takes a little setting up um, it starts out completely different you have a whole bunch of blank and it says 16 times 16 you need to make sure it says 32 times 32 you need to hit browse and where it says original click up until you this also makes it easier while you're doing this if you dragged your folder to a texture pack folder to the dot minecraft original needs to be in the bin you go down and you select minecraft dot j a r and you hit open oh, it's, I already patched it so it caused that error Yeah, that's just going to keep happening. Uh, one moment then. I'm going to have to pause. Okay, it should let me do it now. I just deleted the bin folder. Which is okay. Because, oh, actually I have to run Minecraft to make it come back. So... Oh, okay, apparently I didn't delete it. So if you can't um, delete your bin folder for whatever reason, if you're having a problem, or if you need to uninstall, go to Control Alt Delete and select Java W or anything that says Java. Hit End Process Tree. And you should be able to. This is for installation. Uninstallate. Uninstalling. The herp dirt, whatever, all that fun stuff. Okay, and when you run Minecraft again, it doesn't matter if you delete it because it just re-downloads the entire thing. So, I'm going to let it re-download. And it doesn't affect your saves because your saves are in a different folder. And this is it normally, so we're going to close this. Run Minecraft Patcher. And when you do select the original, it will select everything else. You might have to select where the texture pack is so hit browse and yeah I'm gonna have to do it so ooh, ooh, I went too far you go to your texture packs and you select through until you find minecraft hd.zip you open it and for some reason custom portal isn't showing up I'm just assuming that's how it's supposed to be hit patch and I'll say success probably so hit test minecraft 
and it should ah there we go and now everything will look completely different but also exactly the same if that makes any sense whatsoever here we are this is our base if you all remember how it looked before well this is how it looks now and items also look ooh wow oh for some reason I have the default skin all your items will look different your screen and everything else you can select any texture pack you wish this is just for that the texture pack I showed this has been the Balanced Swordsman. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you all have a good day.